is the magnificent Scion 5 that we all know and love. You know and love. Tell me you love it. Or else there will be trouble. If not, why not? Arr. Anyhow, yes, besides all the magnificent things that this can do, like word processing, spreadsheets, it can also play games, as you might know. But did you know it can actually emulate the ZX Spectrum 48K and 128K? No? Well, you do now. So let's uh, get in on that screen and get in on the action and have a look at this thing running. Right, as you know, uh, not easy to film the screens on these, but I've got it as best I can without shadows casting everywhere. So what I'm going to show you is a little program I've installed off the internet. I will show you in a different video how I do that. But for this video, we are going to use this Z80 Palm Top. It should boot up. There we go. Sinclair 4 Spectrum Emulator runs 6,000 games. Yes, it runs uh, top files that you can download off the internet. Now, as with any other emulator, it's a mixed bag. Some some games will run, some games won't. And you've actually got a 48K and a 128K on here. So, let's have a look, quick look at the emulator itself. You've got your basic screen there, which I could actually just type load. Now, obviously, the keys don't match up from the spectrum to this exactly. So, you've sometimes got to find out where those keys are on this. This has actually got sound, which is something you have to uh, initiate when you first put it in. So, if I look at menus here, we've got man uh, file, which is the usual stuff. Open file, save, save, snap, uh, save snapshot as. So, you can take pictures of the screen. Uh, right, CPU. You can pause it slower, faster, if it's going a bit wrong. Uh, or reset. When you press reset, you get a choice of... 128 or a 48k spectrum Porsche press ok and it reboots the hardware so let's have a look settings uh, you can set the joystick up you can uh, put the arrows as your Kempson joystick which is very handy although some games won't work it uh, when you first play it sound you need to put that on you can look at the display the screen size is large so status bar and you can select all them so and i'm going to play with that that's all good for me uh settings colors now obviously this is not a color machine what's that doing it's all right to be honest i've never played with the c things before so 16 grays settings colors four grays inverse Woo all right, so we can go for different like that. There's she, right and verse. We'll just go through these and get back to the original display. Come on. There we go. That'll do. Right. Okay. So what we do? Oh, memory. You can poke. I'm sure there's use for that and there's a recorder will actually take videos of uh you playing they're called zrc files i have not found any way to watch these on the computer main computer i have tried honestly not working so let's uh have a look at something running if it's a tap file you're going to have to load it into here and type load uh, so we've got chucky egg here so if i play that 48k, always ask you which machine you want to use. There we go, Chucky Egg is loading. Now, you can bypass this sort of by pressing. Now, that's the sound. Now, it does warn you when you put the sound on that it can affect the speed of the emulation and it's not the best so on this one I'm going to refine the keys press the keys which used up now this is going to be a little bit difficult because I have uh, a tripod in the way of the keyboard so press up down and that's going to be my excuse today for my bad playing jump as DSS okay so press S to start 
and that's practically unreadable on the screen as it flies past there and believe me that's practically unreadable on the needle screen so there we go chucky egg now obviously due to the technology of the time ghosting is most definitely an issue but on the other hand oh carock don't you dare it is perfectly flayable. It's perfectly flayable. Perfectly playable. Didn't want to do that, did I? Yeah, the sound can get a little bit uh, iffy. <laughs> but, whoop. There you go. That is Chucky Egg. So, if I want to change the game, I can go there, CPU reset. I found this is more reliable than just going to open and opening the game because it'll ask you anyway. So you can do it that way, or you can press open. Oh, excuse me. Let's do it this way. Press open. Uh, we'll go to our next game. If you press in here, you get a list of all of them. So, got Dizzy here. Press OK. Choose the system. I think this is 48K. No, nope. it's going to go for the 128. So. Open. Uh, dizzy. Okay. We'll go with the 128. There we go. And there's Dizzy. Firing up. Now, some of them are awkward with the keys. You have to keep messing around until you get the right keys. Dizzy is one of those games. It's not obvious which keys it is. And it's awkward because it's 1, 2, and 4, which really messes up my game here so yeah you can see this ghost it's even more obvious that there's ghosting on the camera screen but yes there is ghosting in real life here aha five to collect so we can do all the usual dizzy stuff you're rolling around the screen it is quite pl there's no There we go. Perfectly playable version of Dizzy. Uh, you do get three volume settings by default. You've got uh, come here, come here. off, low, and high. This is on the high setting today. So there we go. Oh. But there you go. You can see that ghosting is an issue. But at least in Dizzy. It's not terminal. So let's have a look at another game. Let's just use the open thing here. Do it that way. Uh, tricky egg. We've got Jet Set Willy. No, I can't play Jet Set Willy because there's a code at the beginning. I can't find the codes. I've got Jetpack. Jetpack. Okay. Well, now ask me. Okay. Tape ready. So if you do it that way, you've got to still reset the CPU. So, uh, we'll go for 128. I'm not sure which one this wants. Can't remember. So, load, which is J on this one, and two of them, and enter. Jetpack! Right, we are emulating the Kempson joystick, so we can go for that one, which gives us the arrow keys to use, and space to fire. So, press 5 to start the game. This is Jetpack. Oh! <laughs> I can play this game normally. <laughs> normally. <laughs> Leave me. Please. Right. But, yeah, you can see. Check back. Working fine here. On the ZX Spectrum. On the Scion Series 5. Oh, God. <laughs> this makes me look terrible, this game. Right. It's very twitchy on the controls. On this version. Whoa! There we go. So that's the jetpack running. You see the ghosting is an issue, but it's not like other systems where the ghosting makes it unplayable. On this one, it is definitely playable. So, if we reset her again. Reset. 
Pause. There we go. Nope. Get off pause. Right, CPU. Reset. Go for 128K. And this time we are going to open to have a look. Manic Miner? Go on, Manic Miner. Tape ready, so it's going to be a load job. J. Oh, oh. Enter. Haha, <laughs> listen to that. Brilliant for that sound. Ooh. Sometimes it might be better not to use the sound. Isn't that horrible? Enter. Right, it is working. Right. Okay, and there's Manic Miner. Now, in, <laughs> in Manic Miner, uh, ghosting is an issue, and that's running really fast. So, what I'm going to do, that's probably because I've got it on the 20, 128k CPU, slower. Now, CPU, slower. That's more like it. Right, so that's probably because I've got it on, on the... 128k, so right. Let's see. Obviously, you can change the uh, contrast on the screen itself, but yeah, there's Manic Viner, which is me, <laughs> sort of. <clears throat> I should call myself a Manic Viner, shouldn't I? Really? Yeah, that should be a good name for my oh. And I got squished. So let's just have a look at some more. we got six of them here to play for you today. If I can get rid of that horrible music. Right. What else did we get? Robocop. Uh, I think this works on the 48. So we'll go for the 48. Oh, okay. Prove me wrong. Right, open. Uh, da -da. Robocop. Okay. On the 128k spectrum. Okay. Robocop. I'll go for the Kempston. Prime Director, so the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. I am the law for unclassified. Right, okay, let's just get this set up better. Right, okay. And Robocop. Now, as you can see, Robocop has quite detailed background. So if you're playing a game like this on the simulator, uh, it can. The ghosting and stuff can become a bit of an issue. It doesn't actually look as bad on the camera screen, but believe me, there's a lot of ghosting going on in this one because of the background detail, which means you do miss some of the things. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, so you can see in the background there, as, as stuff appears in front of you, it can become difficult to see. Like these guys. You can't see when stuff's firing at you in this game, easily. So, that is a limitation of the screen. So, let's go and have a look at our final game, which is... Underworld. Okay. Yeah, uh, whatever. Go for the 128k, and we'll need to reset the CPU. CPU, uh, reset. There we go. Oh, the joys of emulation. Yes, yesterday when I tested this, Underworld worked fine. Today, it won't play. But there we go. You can see that uh, several games, depending on how much detail in the in the background, are perfectly playable on this if you can put up with a little bit of ghosting but the ghosting isn't as bad as a lot of systems and it's going to give you access to hundreds and hundreds of games which you can just get down off the internet uh, just tap files like any other emulator put them on here put them in your pocket and be the coolest guy in town yeah just like me or perhaps not yes
OK, so yes, the Scion 5 gets better by the day. More videos on this to come, and I'll show you how to install all the software and everything on another video. So, if you think I'm a sad old git, please hit the like button. And if you're not already, then please subscribe to the channel. And uh, why not join us in our social media uh, Facebook group with other like-minded people. Links down below. So other than that, thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>